Hello friend, what is the new way of using select reserve? So generally you always have been using select reserve like right click, click on inspect and before that like uh, this video will answer one more question where to find select reserve after installing. So you see that here generally if you have to like let's say inspect any element and you are trying to look for the xpath or you want to write xpath selector so you inspect it tab tools open here you in the left side you see the dom elements tab on the right side we used to suggest like styles computed these all tabs will be there and add here on the right side after two arrows you have to click here and you will find selector sub selector sub pro always as a last tab so this was the old way and sometimes like in the latest after chrome 114 they have introduced there was a bug always have been found sometimes these selector sub tabs or any uh, plugin or browser extensions tabs are not installing here in as a site tab here in the dev tools so this is how like generally we always have been using and you might see many of these selectors of tutorial where we will be using selectors of here in dev tools and if you want you can always use it this way as well so this is the old way where we were having the selectors of and we were using it okay but now going forward you need not to we need not to open dev tools to use selectors of we need not to like right click this way here then click on inspect then go there no nothing we need not to do that you just simply click on the logo here on the browser toolbar here you see that selector sub pro logo and you click on this and this way you will see the selector sub tab right there now if you open any like any number of tabs it will always remains open and it will keep on working so let's say if you open any website it will always be keep on working here so you also like good point is that you need not to open it again and again if you want to write verify any xpath you have the selector sub inspector here you select this and you can inspect any of the element and the xpath and all possible selectors will be generated here you can also like just start writing here so that also you can uh, write your own xpath and css selector that is there also you see the dom of this element so you can also see the complete html you can also expand it so everything you can do it it is not going to block your website it is not going to hide any element of your website so everything is visible everything is here what you used to have in selector so when you used to open in dev tools like if any element will be like let's say uh, inside x uh, shadow dom iframe everything will be supported here you just have to inspect the element like let's say if it is svg element that also it will show you if anything is inside shadow dom that also it will show you a script and in fact this is the pro version so here you have more options like selenium cypress playwright and if you use playwright here you get the code with java or javascript so everything is there and yes of course like you need not to worry we are giving the uh, free access to pro version to all the users so if you haven't got your uh, free access just go to selectors of website and here you will find that uh, free offer also like uh, if you click here i will also leave this link in the description so that you can get your free account right away so here you just have to follow this block like uh, one two steps here to get your free account and then you can use the uh, selector sub pro version which is like very amazing and it has uh, many many features so this way now you can use selector sub pro here to inspect the element you just have to select this inspector inspect any element here you also right click on any element you can see the uh, selectors values right from here copy xpath or any selector value from the context menu as well and there are a bunch of features amazing features are there any element will be inside iframe or anything that you will immediately get to know with the help of uh, this kind of selectors up here if you inspect any element it will let you know its property whether it is svg element shadow dom inside shadow dom iframe whether it is possible or not everything it used to tell you then all those features are also here you can also generate the relative x path to other element so that is also possible one more thing like before uh, i wrap up here you see that selector sub logo is here but by default after installation you will not see here like all these uh, icons will not be available here lo logo of the extensions 
so what you have to do you will see this kind of logo in your uh, chrome browser you see that on the right top corner i'm moving my mouse here so default extension click on this and here you will have to pin the extension whichever you want to see here so let's say by default you don't see any of these like this it will be and then you will be worried like what i have showed you guys on the video that logo is not here so you what you have to do click here and then you will see all the logo here and then whichever you want to see that you can pin like this so this way you can pin the uh, extensions also another uh, good way is this now you can open selector sub tab through keyboard as well like generally uh, earlier we were not able to open like we have we could we could open the dev tools but then select to open selector sub we have to have to move our mouse with fingers and we have to click but now you need not to do that you can do this through keyboard like let's say uh, whatever command you have set you press those command and it will open like by default we have set the command command shift s on mac and on windows it is control shift s but if you want to change the keyboard shortcut what you do like you just right click on this click on manage extension and here you see that keyboard shortcut click on this and like by default right now i have set it to command shift j so i let's say i want to change click on this edit and now press all those keys together which you want to set as a command so here it is command shift s i want to set and now if i press the command shift s here like in any tab command shift s it will open like this so this way you can use a uh, selector sub now through keyboard as well so here we will uh, like let's say if i want to show you something any element is inside iframe so what you do you select this inspector and you see that when you hover it here it is automatically letting you know that this is inside iframe and you can inspect as well so this way this is the new way to use the selector sub and whenever like let's say you have selected this inspector from here and you are moving your mouse here and there so you see that it is always active but if you want to deactivate it just right click and it will get deactivated isn't it amazing so this way you can use the selector sub just by clicking on the logo you can open selector sub just by clicking on the logo or through keyboard shortcut you need not to open it in dev tools if you don't find in dev tools then also keep it using uh, like keep using it this way this feature is available like this uh, this way you can this new way you can use it on chrome and edge browser right now okay so i hope like you find this tutorial useful please don't forget to take your uh, free account right now because this offer may end up soon when you might be watching this video later but right now we have this offer so you can get your free account for selector sub pro and use its amazing time saver feature and uh, like this new way you can also open a free version as well the same way just click on the logo and it will be open like this and you can also set the keyboard shortcut so that is there with that thank you thank you so much